As the Syrian conflict stretches out in time, it has also spread geographically. Echoes of the uprising are felt far from the country's borders. What's happening in Syria is heartbreaking and outrageous. And what you've seen is the international community mobilize against the Assad regime. Strategic analyst Dr. Salim says one thing is clear, though. It's certainly gone far beyond the words of sympathy. And according to those on the ground in Syria, that mobilization has many more forms than officially stated. During the operation in Baba Amr, the Syrian army arrested fighters from Gulf countries in Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya and some European states. Their work was coordinated by Qatari and Saudi intelligence officers, as well as CIA, Mossad and Blackwater agents. It's also seized Israeli weapons, especially anti-tank missiles and Israeli drones. The U.S. defense contractor, formerly known as Blackwater and now called Academy, was notorious for his heavy-handed tactics during operations in Iraq and Pakistan. While the U.S. and many other countries have admitted al-Qaeda-linked extremist groups fighting alongside the armed opposition in Syria, Dr. Salim says some countries are using those groups to further their own interests. They get local players involved in order to hide their involvement. This is why we hear mostly Arabs like Saudi Arabia and Qatar or Iraq. These countries don't have democracy at home. Of course, they cannot ask for establishing it in Syria. They have another agenda. There are books and written sources where this plan is described in detail decades ago. Anhar Kochneva, blogger and freelance journalist, has been investigating foreign involvement in Syria's crisis since last year. She says this is a story with three main chapters. Weapons smuggled across the border, overseas contractors and foreign cash. When you see a lot of money in Syria, then you believe, I believe that Saudis. This is comparable to what happened in the civil war in Lebanon. There were plenty of money. Then you will find not, the government talk about hundreds of dollars or something. Nobody will kill himself for hundreds of dollars. Now you will see, now this is the beginning of the civil war here in Syria. With more and more reports on international involvement emerging and calls to arm the opposition getting louder, even for those at the grassroots of the uprising, the initial euphoria is turning bitter. I can't say we regret what we did, but we didn't want things to go that far. It turned so much militarized, globalized and violent. We never wanted and don't want intervention now. But fears are, Abdulaziz says, that it could be too late to stop this all-devouring flames of conflict. Marie Fenoshina, RT, Damascus, Syria.